one of those things where they said you'll you'll remember where you were. Carol Olson, other American, City Senate Television, to hear Walter Cronkite in the news 50 years ago to this day. From Dallas, Texas, the Flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mary Spivey, a retired teacher, remembered that day. It was a shock. She was working when she heard the news. It was before noon. And someone came in my room and said, the president's been shot. And I said, is he dead? And he said, I don't know. I went to lunch, and it was clear that he was gone. For Alan Miller, one of his birth memories was J.F. Hayes' funeral. So I was three and a half. There was the scene with John F. Kennedy saluting. Oh, John, John, yeah. Uh, the casket. I remember that being pointed out to me and people telling me to salute. Both then and now, the media play a major role. The only way we had of finding out what was happening was to be on the TV. Because it's the 50th anniversary of John F. Kennedy's assassination, there have been many documentaries on TV. I reported out five of them on my EVR. President John and Harold Kennedy once said, Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. In Oakland, I'm Alex Singh with KR News.